right, Lawrence. Uh, surveillance video. It shows a robber stealing from a cell phone store in Richmond. That man is still on the loose tonight, and the owner says that the robber not only targeted this store, but another San Pablo store he also owns. Our conference, Dan Thorne, is in the studio with us tonight after talking to the store owner. Dan. Yeah, Vicki, that frustrated store owner is trying to get the word out about this. He says the robbery suspect's threatening and brazen behavior has left some store employees concerned about coming into work, and the store owner wants this man to be stopped. A robbery at a cell phone store in Richmond is caught on camera. The store's owner says the robbery suspect at first pretended to be a customer before threatening to shoot the employee. And he showed her his gun. He walked behind the counter. Uh, forced her out the way, opened the register, took all the money. The owner, who only identified himself as Richard, says the thief took $1,000 in cash last Saturday afternoon, leaving store employees feeling alarmed. People were afraid to go to work. Um, at the same time, I'm afraid, you know, they would get hurt as well. At first, we thought, you know, he took the money from Richmond and he'd be done. But apparently, he's not. Just days after the Richmond robbery, the same man showed up at Richard's second Boost Mobile store at the San Pablo Town Center. Richard says it was here that the suspect threatened an employee with a box cutter. The employee texted Richard about the ordeal as it was happening, and Richard called the center's security immediately. But the security did not stop the suspect. He said that because um, there was an actual like, crime committed during that time, um, that he couldn't detain him. The guard did snap this picture of the man. San Pablo police later found the suspected robber's sunglasses and red hoodie. Richard says he's heard from other shop owners in both Richmond and San Pablo who say they too have seen this man. They're all hoping he stopped before he strikes again. The ultimate goal and hope is to get him apprehended and so he cannot do this to us or to anybody else and give a peace of mind to, to everyone. Well, Richard says that uh, he has been making some changes to his store, such as like locking it during store hours and then essentially, I guess, ringing people in or checking to see who the individuals are that are trying to come in in case, uh, you know, this guy shows up again. Hey, that surveillance uh, video, that picture of him is pretty clear. Yeah, yeah. So the uh, tough situation, right? Because you're hoping that the guard would be able to stop this person from doing this, but... Um, you know, they didn't have any true evidence of the crime actually being committed. So, you know, mm. I think the cops are on it, though. So, All right. we'll find Thank out. You, Dan. Yeah. Thanks, Dan.